y'all really got to start understanding though that there's certain guys that you're going to be turned on at certain points and you're going to be turned off by certain like like so like you know how like you're like pmsing and you're kind of a bitch and stuff like that it's actually because your body is is trained to push away those beta dudes yep. mm-hmm. like it's trained and like when y'all are on it's natural whole, birth control yeah yeah and so what happens is when y'all take birth control all you're doing is like you actually like the beta dudes more when you're on birth control. It's so fuck because it's confusing you into thinking you're pregnant and your body when you're pregnant you want those like chubby beta ish more dudes because they're going to be very good providers with you. Like they're going to be very good at that at that parental provision with you. So you so basically when y'all take that pill y'all want this certain type of guy and then when you get off the pill you're like why the fuck this guy is so annoying and ugly what the fuck and the next thing you know you're turned you're not even turned on by him you're trying to go chase this whole other guy you're like why is it like this if it's your hormone sucks then yeah oh that's what i was gonna say you can active. be the hottest so, motherfucker but if you're a dick you're ugly as shit to me yeah. i don't even care if you're justin bieber actually he's the one pass no so she and michael you're b jordan shit, sergio and yeah, travis so, kelsey yeah. and travis kelsey anyone else fuck you bro no, but what, what, what I was saying is like y'all are active. So like y'all go with like the flow of things, like the women around yeah. you and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and so y'all's, y'all's hormones are very act. And then it's always going based off the day of the week and everything like that. Guys are reactive. Okay. It's like a fight's about to break out. Um, testosterone p- p- uh, spikes. Um, yeah. A hot woman's there. Oh, I want to fuck Shit. her. Testosterone spikes. Our, our testosterone spikes based off of environmental things that are going on. And y'all's is like a fucking wave. Fight or fight. And so like we wonder why we have such a hard time in relationships and shit like that. It's because you're... Your woman's doing mm-hmm. this, and then you're as a guy, you're like, beep, 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 well, we're beep, beep, at random points. Get the fuck with it, bro. Come on. <laughs> oh, ride if, the wave. If, if we're <laughs> yeah. gonna, yo, but if, it's an expectation. If we're gonna do life together, then figure that shit out. I definitely like encourage guys to like watch their girls cycle and know. Like, I would say you're. You I, I guess you I'm gonna do a little know. TMI, Sorry. but your girl will usually fucking come on to you two weeks after her period. Yo, you don't I, even have to do anything yo, about it. I was gonna she ask just you. Does it. Best sex is on your period. I'm sorry. Oh, you're disgusting. It just is. That's an unpopular opinion. That's how I am. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, <laughs> now, guys, I uh, I had a different. I had a, a kind of a different topic to like steer into. That's different from the hormones debate. But yeah, anybody that was interested in everything we're talking about, please go talk out. Uh, check out Marty Hazelton her book Hormonal. It's fucking amazing, yeah. honestly. Wait, what's the name? Sorry. Hormonal. No, yeah. the author. Oh, Marty Hazelton. Marty. Marty. Yeah, she's Shout a dope Ozark. woman. Have you seen Ozark? You would love that show. I don't watch TV shows. I told Dude, you. Dude, yeah, you have to watch that. All right. Uh, this one is: Do men and women look uh, look for different qualities in short term and long term mating? Okay, so basically, like the guy that you want to short term sleep with versus the guy that you want to have for the long term. Oh, yeah, do y'all look for different qualities in that? All right. And the first question is: In your opinion, do men and women prioritize different qualities when seeking a short term mate? You want to go first? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I feel like women are definitely going to look out for like you know the big dude. The hot dude for like short, short term. term yeah yeah the, and... the, the hot guy at the foam can party yeah. <laughs> yeah see but i'm not no it just depends no because if it's short term and he you I don't can... have a little bit of an animal instinct He's... in you oh come, come on, on now like, oh. i'm respectful i'm being very respectful of my sexual history and for that asshole that said my body counts probably over 15 it's actually a single digit you fuck thank you very much yes. um but like literally i want to jump on the fuck boy but I'm not going to do it because he can get whoever the fuck he wants in that pool. And I know that I'm a privilege. It doesn't that's mean what he has I to say. be a fuck boy though. But if he, yeah, well, if he's a good that's guy. very good. So I, yeah. I only date respectful fuck boys. Literally all of my, all of my past exes are beautiful. They are, but they're also sure really they good people. They're really good people though. You would never think that they're good people. Cause most of them, sorry guys, I know I'm going to fit the stereotype are athletes, but like there are good athletes out there. I promise. There really are. Uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, now they fucked up and I dumped them because they had the stereotype of cheating, but like we're cool now. Were they cheating or were y'all just like, I mean, we were both unhappy with each other and stayed way too long. I mean, I, uh, I always like to say, you know, you just shouldn't ever be with an athlete and then expect them not to cheat. Like, so, that's like the no, few guys that are like, like, uh, you know, how I always say like guys are only high value after years and stuff. The guys that aren't are the athletes. So it's like if you yeah. choose those, like you better accept what's coming. Well, we got too comfortable with each other. Mm. you know like the spark totally died you yeah oh, I mean? and i wanted to i wanted to bring up something you know how you like you always say like you know this doesn't work or like i'm not like this you know let me bring up something so like everything that we talk about on this show it's all nature versus nurture yes. it's all it's all like nature says like my dna says that i'm going to act like this animal and do these this the studies show the that, that we're gonna do these things like like we've done for all of our history yeah. and then Sorry, 
yeah, and then um, uh, wait, what was I saying? Nature versus nurture. Okay, and then on the nurture side, you know, like I would say the left is super nurture. It's like, hey, we can control everything, guys. We can make everything what we want the world to be. If I want to be a woman, I could just uh, cut my dick off and I become a woman. That's all very left stuff. Like, yeah. like, like the like nurture. I can control my environment to what I want it to be. And nature says, you know, this is my DNA. This is who I really am. Yeah. I would argue the higher intelligence we go, mm -hmm. the more we um, go towards that left nurturing side. Like if you married a guy with 150 IQ and you have 150 IQ, then y'all can overpower your hypergamy. He can overpower his need to want Thank to sleep you. around because of his intelligence. Yeah. This is where that whole thing can fall apart though. Mm -hmm. Studies show that a guy, the more intelligent they are and the more wealthy they become, the more likely they are to cheat. Yeah. So it doesn't, it, it's like, it, I don't think it matters about the intelligence either when it comes to those type of things. But I yeah. love to say, you know, you can be intelligent and be outside of like the norm. But at the end of the day, most people are animals. So when you <laughs> That's say, why the statistics work. Yeah. When you say intelligent, are you talking about like, uh, oh, shit, the forehead came out. I know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so hot. Um, are you talking about street smart or book smart? Because those are very different. Well, I, I mean, I would say both. Like you got to have a mixture of both today. So the I best people do. Yeah, yeah. The best people have to have both. The best like, people have been through some shit, but they have educated themselves in both ways. Yeah, I don't. Kendrick I don't. Kendrick Lamar, bro, come on. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think that people are really stupid if they pigeonhole themselves to one form of uh, living. It's kind of like or it's like I, I've always been like around the hood or with certain types of people. It's like no, you have to upgrade. You have to change your stripes at a certain point. Bro, I'm from Louisville. Come on now. Yeah. The dirty Lou, you already know. A, a lot of people just never want to change their stripes. Um. Wait, did you – oh, yeah, you, you did. Did you answer that, my love? Yeah, 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 she did. Okay. Um, from your experience or observation, what are the key qualities men and women respectfully look for in long-term partners? Mm. What do you look for in long-term yeah, partners? Really Definitely long a provider. Like, how You're looking for a provider? About, like, financially um, or emotionally? Everything. Everything. Yeah. I always say provider is money, not, energy, not, attention, and not, time. It's not, not as just much wait, emotion. His meat. Is meat, money, energy, attention, and time. I fuck with you, bro. Not as much as emotionally because you can't expect that from them. Yeah. What'd you say? Not as much as emotionally because yeah. you can't expect that well, from them. Unless he's a cancer. God See? damn, guys. <laughs> I did that just to piss him off. I bro, promise. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you some studies that they've done where they proved that none of that shit was no, real. I'm going to I'm going to destroy but, your whole thing. No, but respectfully, let me just get in my bag, please. Okay, That's I'll, one thing I'll I don't you want you happy. to take away from me. I'll, I'll, I'll let you keep that. I'll let you keep that That one. was very nice of you. No, uh, But yeah, so you want the provider for as sure. As well, yeah. Like, you know, you have to look out. Is he a family man? How does he treat his mom? If he has mm. a sister, how does he treat his sister? That part. Okay. What do you think? What are you looking for in a long-term provider? And I got too heated on the meat. Yeah. What, 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 what are you looking for in a long-term provider? Okay. Shout out my guy, Raw Elements. He's a rapper. He's amazing. Follow him. He, I saw a video of him that literally said, what's more important, um, loyalty or respect? And my immediate thought was respect, but then he said, I think he said something like loyalty because you can respect the fuck out of somebody. Like you, I just met you today. I respect you as a person, mm. but like if you were to do something disloyal to me, I would fuck you up. Like if you're going to be loyal to someone for your entire life, then that means if you cheat on them, you call them immediately. That's loyalty right in terms of like i just fucked up and i'm so sorry now i'm not going to trust him ever again and i'm probably not going to respect him ever again but because he chose to tell me he's loyal okay. i just want someone to be straight up with me so 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 here's the thing this is like i've i heard what you just said a hundred times on this show okay yeah, but... and the reason like this is it all goes down to a misunderstanding everything that is wrong today with men and women it's just a misunderstanding like yeah. not understanding how men are and not understanding how women are okay the reason why Here's the thing. When I talk to guys, if they want to sleep around in a relationship, we tell them, you be honest up front. You say, hey, just so you know, I'm the type of guy that I'm bad at being loyal. And right here from the start, I will be in a relationship with you, but I'm probably going to exercise options, okay? And 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 the woman can choose there, okay? Now, most guys don't do that because they're scared. My it's going to... Sorry, my head is so yeah. little. Like, it's like forming my entire head. I have a baby head. Thank you. Did you see it was like on my freaking yeah. like jawline? But, uh, <laughs> Sorry, keep going. But no, uh, what was I saying? You're in your bag. You're in your yeah. bag. Wait, what was I saying? We were talking. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just was like, yo, this is going to go down to my neck if I don't do something. Donnie, bad. what was I saying? Uh, something <laughs> about loyalty. Oh, uh, yeah. Respect. 
Oh, being open about like, just, like having oh, yeah, sex with multiple just people. It down yeah. on table, oh like. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so like we tell guys, you know, you need to be honest about it because you're a coward if you don't sit there and say it. Yeah. But the reason why most guys won't do that is because first off, they 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 don't even get a lot of options. Yeah. So like, why would they sit there and tell you if when they only get one girl every year? I told you, thirty three percent of men between the ages of eighteen and thirty are virgins and or haven't had sex this year. Thirty three percent. No, thirty three percent. Sixty six percent of men are single. They haven't. They're oh, not in single. relationships. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 30. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so one third of guys are single, not having sex, nothing, complete fucking loser dorks. Okay. Um. Damn. Oh, shit. Uh, Damn, he came for them. I, I totally forgot again what I'm the fuck dork, I was originally though. talking I'm about. Such a dork. You're a dork. <laughs> you love being educated. Mm, you do. Yes, I'm you're a, a nerd. Yeah, I'm a gamma male for sure. Uh, <laughs> he's intelligent. He's dude, very. That's, man, why, that's why you're an Aquarius. Dude, they just straw me so hard. I forget so hard every time, bro. <laughs> so hey, y'all. Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.